What's up everyone, it's me, Taker Simona 2 here, and in today's video, today's video we are discussing the recent announcement from Nintendo themselves and their latest Nintendo Direct Mini that was foreshadowed by us. And in that Direct, specifically they announced, kinda announced, of who DLC Fighter 6 will be in Fighters Pass Volume 2. And in that, and in the past, the first DLC character of Fighters Pass 2 will be a fighter from ARMS. Most of us are actually surprised by this because ARMS hasn't been really mentioned in a really long time. Probably like uh like two or three years or somewhat. Cause Nintendo hasn't hasn't actually been updating this game in a while. So I can see why they're pretty much given a fighter from ARMS and all that. And um, as you can see here on the screen right now, Nintendo has pretty much updated their DLC fighters page to this beautiful golden background now, where, where it pretty much represents the color of Fighters Pass Volume 2 right here. And there are six fighters, one of them has already been announced, obviously. And all it says is just a fighter from ARMS, and it just shows the ARMS logo and all that. And it's going to be released and announced on June of 2020. And funny enough, guys, fun fact, that's actually the exact month of when the game ARMS came out. And that's actually kind of a neat reference and a... Pretty sneaky there, right there, Nintendo. Sakurai, you're kind of a genius as well. And also, they also updated the DLC, well, not the DLC, the Fighters page right here. And they added six more slots right here. So this is going to be Fighter sem number 76, all the way to number 81. So, yeah, anyways, guys. Um, But anyways, guys, we're pretty much discussing a lot of things about ARMS. Because when this was first announced... We pretty much didn't get that many, that much detail from Nintendo. All they just said was the fighter is gonna be from Arms, and we just gotta, and we're gonna have to stretch our development time to June of 2020. That's all they gotta say. That's all. So the thing is, the question is, what fighter could they actually be adding to Smash Bros. Ultimate, and which fighter could they add, and which, and kind of what stage would they have, like how the fighter could actually work? Because there's like a lot of speculation right now, so. With all that out of the way, let's just get straight into this entire discussion video. So keep in mind guys that there's actually 15 fighters, there's actually 15 playable fighters in ARMS right now, starting from Springman all the way to Dr. Coil right now. And there's a lot of options of which fighters they could actually get. Though there's gonna be some confusions for some reason, cause some people actually had a lot of speculating going on is that it's... If ARMS actually got a fighter, wouldn't that mean Springman still has a chance? Because Springman right now is currently an assist trophy. Ribbon Girl is pretty much a me costume and a spirit, along with Min Min, Ninjara, and Twintail. Those are the only five characters that are represented their their series in any sh any form, shape, way, or form, like any or whatever the phrase is. So right here, this is pretty much the ARMS Fighters concept, where I only chose, like, at least seven characters. This section right here is pretty much the f from the spirits to fighters. Springman, Ribbon Girl, and Min Min are spirits, while, S while Springman is pretty much an assist trophy right now. Though it would be major confusions, though it wouldn't be confusing because if Springman's gonna be a fighter then, then there has to be a way to somewhat disable the assist trophies of Springman, which, honestly, I find that a good speculation. Though, in my opinion, guys, it really wouldn't make sense, in my opinion, to actually put the main character, the, the game itself, without its main mascot. Joker pretty much represents Persona 5 and the Persona series, respectively. Hero pretty much represents Dragon Quest XI, because he's the protagonist of that game. Banjo and Terry, obviously, and Violet, all all five protagonists pretty much represents their series as a whole. Though, those, there are only two mascots I can only think of. We obviously know Springman, but also Ribbon Girl, because Ribbon Girl is pretty much kind of like the Luigi of ARMS, pretty much. Kind of like the duo, like Springman, R Ribbon Girl, like Cloud, and um, I guess Sephiroth, I don't know, Ryu, Ryu and Ken and all that. But anyways, um, those are the only two characters that could possibly be something. Though what I find interesting is another character right here is Min Min. Now Min Min actually kind of makes sense. And 
this is there's actually a good theory out there. Back then, I think 2018 or 17, there was actually a tournament held of of where pretty much they pretty much like play arms characters, pretty much fight and all that. And the first place winner, some people actually actually speculate that in that tournament, it is actually a way to decide of which DLC fighter of of like which arms character could be in as a DLC fighter. And Min Min actually won in that tournament, so this could possibly make sense. I mean, that would make sense, honestly. And honestly, that is a good theory, not gonna lie. That is actually a good theory. If Min Min actually was the winner of that tournament, that means Min Min would have been a character instead. And there's a fourth one right here, which is... I actually found a good choice, actually. Max Brass, which is... Like, another one of people's um, favorite choices, because keep in mind, like I said, there are so many fighters in this game, well, 15 fighters in arms right now, and there's pretty much a lot of choices to choose, because keep in mind, this character doesn't come out and then get announced until June of 2020, so we're gonna have a long wait of which character they could actually choose. And at the bottom here, these are characters that are not represented yet, either they're gonna be in as spirits or DLC fighters. Some people think it's Cobra, like Kid Cobra, some it's Helix, but most people think it's Dr. Coil, which, honestly, I think Dr. Coil could be something because we don't actually have any female villains in the game. Well, aside from Dark Samus and and also Wendy, but, but still, we kind of need some more, like, female representation and all that. That's kind of all I gotta say. And pretty much, there's, like, a lot. Some people actually speculate they, they could actually do... A bit of a similar costume alternate, kind of what they did with Bowser Jr. and other characters I can't remember to have, like, other alternate costumes. But anyways, um, this could possibly be another one of Bowser Jr. or Hero situation, where they pretty much give them alternate costumes, because, um, in my opinion, well, this is kind of a strange thing, because in the game, ARMS... All 15 fighters pretty much have, like, somewhat similar moveset. Well, they pretty much almost have an identical moveset. So, I guess it would kind of make sense if all 15 characters are going to be in this game. And if you're going to say 15 costume monsters is too much, well, let me tell you this, guys. Little Mac had, like, 16 in the last Smash game, so I don't know what you're arguing. I don't know what you're arguing about. But the question is, how could this fighter really work because they can stretch their arms which pretty much has really long range and honestly guys I think I have an answer to that I pretty much did a sketch right here where I pretty much adjust the arm like they're stretching arms a little from just from here to a bit of here because I don't want this character to be broken all right I don't want this character to be unbalanced I just want this character to just be fun and simple as itself and all that, and I really don't want this character to be broken like Hero and all that. But this is pretty much how they would work. And speaking of how they would work, the move set itself was kind of a tough one to figure out. You can come up, you can come up with the move set in the comments all you want, guys. I just can't can't come up come up with any. And but the only thing I come up with was actually the final smash, and that is headlock. Now, for those who have never played Arms that much. Headlock is pretty much like a final boss when you go to a Grand Prix where he pretty much goes on your head and pretty much sprouts out four extra arms out of its head to pretty much give out a six person punch or something. I don't know. I really, I played arms and I haven't gotten into that part yet and I don't want to, I, I really do not want to know how tough this, this thing would be, but that's kind of the only thing I came up with. So you guys can come up with the, whole thing all you want, but I just cannot come up with. And also, the stage itself was kind of tough as well, because 15 characters pretty much have their own stage, and if the character, if, the, if Nintendo kind of chose Min Min, for example, then they would actually have to, like, develop the stage for Min Min. If they chose Kid Cobra, then they had to chose the stage for Kid Cobra. It's just kind of a difficult thing, to be honest, because... The stage itself was just kind of like kind of tough to decide, and and but the music is not actually that hard. And as you can see here, I decided to go crazy and then just do 
every fighter's um, theme, like, and most of them are literally remixes. And I know that's a lot, but honestly, guys, I really just want to see these characters and music tracks to actually get a good vibe in me to have a good remix and all that. And this is kind of pretty much the entire content. And I also did came up with a prediction of the release date. Is obviously is June, but we do not know what day of June is. Well, mostly like the last fight is passed. He pretty much released most of the characters on Wednesdays. A couple were on Tuesday, which is pretty much Piranha Plant and Violet. So either this fighter is either gonna come out on Wednesday or Tuesday and all that. And maybe possibly in the early early June, uh, middle June or end of June. Any, any, either of those weeks are pretty much fine. I just really do not know of what day they would actually come out. Because Wednesday or Tuesday are like the only two options I came up with. Maybe Thursday for all I know. So that's pretty much the entire video guys. But before we end it off here. There's actually something I want to discuss. If Springman, like, look, okay, hear me out, guys. If Springman is actually going to be a playable fighter this time, but think of it that because Springman is currently an assist trophy right now, along with Waluigi, Skull Kid, Shadow the Hedgehog, Crystal, all the characters, especially Bomberman. But the thing is, is that if they are actually going to get announced as a playable fighter, because if Springman is a fighter, then could this mean that the other characters of the who are assist trophies have a playable chance to be a fighter themselves? Honestly, guys, I find that kind of tough to answer. So I'm gonna have to say this: my answer is kind of invalid right now. But if Arms is also actually gonna get a playable fighter this time, are we actually gonna see Xenoblade Chronicles 2 this time? Because keep in mind, guys, keep in mind. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and ARMS were were not actually rep represented as fighters due to poor timing. So I guess either in the, any of these fighters, one of them could possibly be a character from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Either Rex the, himself, Rex and Pyra, Rex and Mithra, or Rex and all of them and all that. Either of those fighters are fine. But, but, any, but currently, guys, we're just going to speculate of what fighters... Uh, what far fighters from arms could it actually be and all that So yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video So let me know all of this do you do you agree with the whole fighter speculation? I've came up with do you agree with the adjustments do you agree with my own speculation and all that Cause, but cuz keep in mind guys This is this is my this is only my personal opinion and speculation right here and let me know, do you actually think Springman is actually going to be a fighter this time? And if not, which arms character would you want as a fighter instead of Springman? Me, personally, it's Springman. But if not, then I guess either Min Min or Kid Cobra. Cause, or Max Brass. Um, either of those three characters would be fine. Maybe Springman, but I don't know. Just So let me know all that in the comment section below. So with all that out of the way, guys, leave a like. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember this, once a legend, always a legend.